Pudding and Powerlifting, which as you may have gathered from the title, is a new series. How bloody exciting. Now, I'll give you a quick outline as to the thinking uh, in regards to the name. I am going to show you some pudding, some dessert that I've consumed or I'm going to consume, and then I'm going to show you some powerlifting. So pudding and powerlifting, nice alliteration. I like the alliteration in my titles because it promotes literacy throughout my channel and it sounds cool. Um, now, Quite simply, uh, this is pretty much just a development of a previous season, uh, series, My Road to the British Champs, which uh, as I would imagine some of you would have seen, you would have been watching that. It basically documents my training, my powerlifting training, and it did so in the run-up to the British Champs, which are now finished. I competed the other week, so obviously that road is now finished. I've reached my destination. I can no longer call it Road to the British Champs, although I could and do it as a road to next year's British Champs, but that will be a year-long series, which, let's face it, is too long. So I thought I'd start a new series. Now, what I thought I would do is obviously show you my powerlifting training, but I know that a lot of you guys, and by a lot of you, I mean most of you, like food. You are predominantly big fatties, and you like looking at, uh, watching me kind of talk about the food I eat and show the food I eat, because I sometimes eat cool, exciting, uh, exotic uh, foods. And so I thought if I could fuse my powerlifting training with some uh, food banter, then obviously everyone is a winner. So what I'm gonna do in this series, quite simply, is obviously give you a, like a highlights reel of my week of training, because a lot of you ask me questions about what my training consists of and what my training split looks like. So you can watch the series each week and it will show you what I do and you'll have a better idea of what I do in terms of training. And then also I thought I can show you some of the nice food that I eat in terms of desserts. Because I, I mean, admittedly, I hold my hands up, Sarah does a lot of the cooking. She is a very good cook. She makes a lot of awesome meals. Uh, we do stuff together sometimes and we eat a lot of cool desserts. She tends to make like cool stuff up. So I thought what, I, what would be cool is if uh, I can kind of show you uh, some more stuff. I tend to put pictures on Instagram and that, but I don't always show you it in my videos. So, what I'm going to do is once a week, which will probably be on a, a Tuesday, I guess, uh, I will uh, upload this, my pudding and powerlifting, and it will be one cool dessert from the week, and then the highlights of my training footage from that week. So, in terms of desserts, look at that. This is a coffee and walnut cake. Now, I'll be honest, it's early in the morning, and I may not even be eating this yet, but I will eat it at some point today, if not tomorrow. Um, and just look at it. Look how bloody enticing that looks. I want to just stick my face in it and just rub it all over myself because it looks so friggin' good. Coffee and walnut cake is undoubtedly in, I don't know, one of the best cakes going. It's just, it's just everything about it is good. I don't, I mean, I'll be honest, I love coffee, but I'm not, I'll hold it up so you can kind of keep it in the, just kind of remember what it looks like. I love coffee, but I'm not, that's weird. Uh, I love coffee, but I'm not a big coffee flavor fan. So I don't really like coffee flavored stuff, really. I don't really like mixing coffee with sweet stuff. And walnuts, I'm not a massive walnut fan. So you would think I shouldn't like coffee and walnut cake, but I just do. Just the icing and just it's just such a awesome, awesome cake. And so, yes, I'm very, very excited to be eating that. Now, um, in terms of my training for the week, um, it's been okay. Like, obviously I have done the British Champs, I'm now back into the kind of the grind. And I'll be honest, it's, it can be tough. Like I always find after a meet, it is really hard getting back into run of the mill training because it just seems a bit boring and a bit anticlimactic. And plus, obviously I'm eating less food now, like significantly less. I'm not trying, I'm not, you know, I'm not, stopping myself from eating, I'm just eating what I want and that obviously is a lot less than I was eating before because I, before I was deliberately force feeding myself so yeah I mean training's been okay I'm just kind of getting back into it next week should be better because I'll be kind of a bit more of a stable weight and I'll I'll kind of the motivation should be more so because it will be a nice full week this week's just been kind of getting back into it, it hasn't been mega heavy but with that said Still had some reasonable edge and still felt pretty good. So, that's enough about the cake, which I'll show you one more time. Just have a look at that. Coffee and walnut cake. Look at the walnuts on the top and the sponge. It's not focusing now. It is. Look at the cross section. Can't see the icing from that side. There it is. Uh, yeah, so, I'm now going to play you the highlights of my week of training. I only trained three times this week. I basically compete on the Sunday 
had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, and then started back Thursday. So it was basically three sessions, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and that was the week. So without further ado, sit back and enjoy some training. And here we go. So Thursday was my first session back after the meet. And as is always the case after a competition, or I find anyway, it just kind of sucks a bit. I mean, it wasn't, it was only like a light bench press day, but it just kind of sucks going from the kind of excitement and the anticipation of a meet just to kind of boring run of the mill training. Probably won't compete for a while. So it's just kind of getting, readjusting your mindset, uh, getting back into the training zone um, and basically just kind of getting it done. So um, the session was just a light uh, volume day. So five sets of five, lighter than I had been doing before the meet only because I wanted to kind of ease myself back in. Although I still, I mean, I said this before, I felt really good after the meet on the, I mean, the the day after I felt fine, no kind of major soreness, aches and pains, but I just wanted to kind of not go too crazy, just give myself something easy to get back into training. Plus, obviously, I'm consuming less calories now, so I wanted to kind of experiment. Anyway, Friday was, uh, again, light volume with squats and deadlifts, so three sets of five on the squats, uh, four plates. Felt pretty good, like it didn't feel... Uh, as super easy as it has done in the past but i mean bearing in mind the situation i'm pretty pleased it felt like it was moving quickly you can see there no kind of issues felt nice and smooth um ordinarily friday as you've seen in my training previously would be the heavy day so a heavy pr set of five for squats and the same for deadlifts but this week I thought, obviously, as I hadn't squatted or deadlifted yet, deadlifted yet, I wanted just to get some volume in, um, and I thought it was a bit pointless going for a PR set within, like, what, five, six days of a meet, so I just thought I'd get the volume in and then kind of get back to the normal routine as of next week. So deadlifts, this is the exact same thing. Three sets of five, relatively light volume, and these were actually quite good. These probably moved... Uh, better than my squats did. These felt nice and like super easy. Like it was moving quite uh, quite quick. There was no uh, kind of sticking points up and down, up and down. Felt good. And then Saturday was the last session of the week. So like I said earlier, the week was obviously a very shortened week, just three training days. So literally half of what my week would normally be. And this was an identical session to the Thursday. So pretty boring. Just again, light volume bench, five sets of five super standard um i experimented with setting up by putting my feet on the bench and then dropping down on my arch actually felt really strong so i think that's something i'll keep in my training from now on but that was it guys so like i said short and sweet week hope you enjoyed it please like comment share subscribe as always and i will see you tomorrow